Guys, if I look a little bit like hell or sound a little bit like hell, that is because as of filming this, it was last night that a tornado came through Nashville and messed up a bunch of stuff. Hungover as all get out, lacking sleep, and basically just doing whatever needed to be done. I got out there and started helping people where I could help. And I'm gonna be asking y'all to help us as well. For those of you who aren't aware, who don't follow me on social media, uh, one of the things that I do is every Sunday that I'm available, I go and I help feed the homeless under the Jefferson Street Bridge here in Nashville. There is a small homeless encampment community there that literally the tornado came right by them, right by their stuff and absolutely wiped them out. Thank God nobody died, but all of their stuff is destroyed. That whole area is messed up. They're wondering whether or not people are gonna bulldoze their home's over. There is a link down below to GoFundMe. They have a goal of $500 to raise for these guys. That's something we can easily knock out. It would mean a hell of a lot to me personally if y'all helped. There's gonna be another GoFundMe that I'll talk about in the future that is going to support one of our biggest music venues here, the Basement East. It's a very important music venue to this town that got absolutely destroyed. When I find out more details about that, I will keep you posted. Anyway, enough of the Debbie Downer stuff. Today, we are taking a look at Drake. I have avoided talking about Drake for a while now, partly because I there is a lot to dive into with him, partly because my initial thoughts on Drake were that I really didn't like him at all, like really hated his music, but as a person, he actually seemed like he's a decent person, which I think personally is more important. But having talked to friends and having listened deeper into his catalog, there is more to him than the surface of what gets played on the radio all the time, even though I still don't like it. There's more to him than that. And I think his new song, When To Say When and Chicago Freestyle, I am assuming these are two songs that were kind of plastered together, seamlessly segued back to back, I think provides an excellent opportunity to provide my own personal thoughts on Drake and also on this particular uh, music video. All right, let me just bring it up here on my phone. What the hell? The f I'm locked out of my f***ing YouTube channel. Hey, future Mike here, past Mike. You should have gone to nordvpn.org slash btnight and use code btnight so you're not a fucking idiot who's locked out of your YouTube account. I'm sorry, what the f did you say to me? I said you're a fucking ignorant dickless lunatic since you didn't go to this thing here and go get fucking NordVPN. If you're the future version of me and we do not possess the power to regrow dicks, does that not also make you a dickless lunatic? NordVPN is a virtual private network service that allows you to surf the web anonymously. Keeps your data encrypted and your location private. Shit, that's your business. Look, dude, that's great and all. I really don't have time for this right now. You don't have time to take the most basic step in your internet security, you pleb. They have thousands of servers across the globe. Super fast connection services. There's no excuse. Look, like, I just got locked out of my channel. I'm gonna be traveling in a few days. I don't need to be worrying about this shit right now. You can connect to any server around the globe and there you will virtually be. You don't need to worry about where you're traveling to. It's not like I can take my PC with me, you asshole. Great, they have it available for Android and iOS as well. Stop being an excuse maker and a piece of shit. Go to nordvpn.org slash btnight. Use code btnight. Get 70% off your three year freaking plan. One month, do it! Look, if you can get me back into my YouTube channel, I'll do whatever you ask. I'll go get it. I'll, I'll go to the link. With the power of future Mike magic, Shazam, your phone is, is, you got your YouTube channel back. Oh, word. All right then, let's hop back into the video. All right, so we are going to be looking at, again, Drake, when to say when, and Chicago freestyle. Here we go. You lighting a cigarette indoors? Or is that a pipe? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna Somebody need to talk about his voice in a second here. I said I respect you. No problem. Okay. Now, one of the gripes is... <laughs> I'm assuming you said you'd say you'd respect her, but even still... Next to impossible to f tell. I'm trying to look at the lyrics here and I don't even see it anywhere. Maybe I'm missing it. 
I don't know. Point being is he mumbles all the time, and I hate that shit. I got all these blessings just to give it to others anyway. That's a nice sentiment. I like that. 500 mil and I fall back in the six. Finally give you niggas the space you need to exist. Michael all right, let's look at the lyrics there really quick to verify what he's talking about. Ah, okay. He said the soft A version of the N-word. I thought he was saying naked. Still not 100% sure if I know what he's talking about, but I'm assuming he's... Going through the list of all of the good things he does. Register the business in my brother's name. 3,500 in a pocket that should cover things. Certified lover man, trapping out the motherland. Always move right, so my watch is on the other hand. Sandra Graham, no one love you like your mother can. I watch Michael Rubin win a million off a couple hands. I decide what to see next, like it's on demand. Okay, so a couple of things here. Lyrically, I'm definitely not blown away, though these are not awful, they're not bad. As is kind of the thing with a lot of trap, which this isn't full on trap, though it has, I think, certain elements of it. Um, there's a lot of, there's a little bit more than usual self aggrandizing, but definitely not as bad as other people. And I think part of it too, is he's talking about all the good things that he does kind of as a conflict with some of the inner problems that he has, whether that's um, dealing with people who are just with him because of his fame, or maybe some, uh, I think in the next part here, we talk about some of his inner demons. At first, it kind of threw me off on the last couple of lines there when he started rapping faster than the track, he was like pushing the beat quite a bit, but honestly, I think it's a kind of cool artistic decision. It kind of gives a, a natural free flow to it, even though it's not that free flowing, if that makes any sense. It's definitely locked into how he wanted to do it. But um, I actually think it makes a cool effect for the song. It kind of gives it a little bit of um, raw dynamic. That's not something you see a lot of in uh, most mainstream rap. As far as the beat, I don't really love it, but I definitely don't hate it, especially as much as a lot of Drake's previous beats. Drake's previous beats were so just like amorphous and I, I just really got annoyed by them, partly because you would hear them all the time everywhere. Like maybe a few times it'd be like, oh, this is pretty cool. It's pretty dark, but just like everyone was just beaten off to it so hard. For anyone who says like, yeah, it's just basic mundane, same shit you hear on the radio all the time beat. It's like, yeah, but you have to also keep in mind that Drake is kind of the one who set that trend in the first place. He actually broke ground. One of the things that I cannot freaking suffer is his voice. This isn't the worst version of his voice. He definitely has multiple different styles he goes between on certain songs. When he did a song with Lil Wayne, it took me a few minutes to find out who the hell Lil Wayne was when they were rapping. I was like, what the hell? I cannot stand Lil Wayne's voice and he sounded a lot like Lil Wayne. I just fucking hate it. So nasally and whiny and just, honestly, I don't care as much for lazy type flow. Drake has a very relaxed flow, which I think serves him well. I think he does that very well. I just don't like it. Maybe if he had like a, a deeper voice when he did it, I would I would enjoy it more. There's probably something to that. From what I can hear, the production seems good, but I mean, pretty pretty basic ass standard stuff on the beat. At least I'm not annoyed by the beat, and I do appreciate the uh, the female vocals in the background. All right, we're about to get into the Chicago freestyle portion of the track. <laughs> When I heard this the first time, I love that line. So what I'm assuming, I don't think that's the natural voice of whoever is singing that. I don't even know who's singing that. I think what probably happened, I'm assuming, I'm taking a guess here, they pitched the original vocal down like uh, either a, a few, probably a few semitones and then they auto tuned it. You can hear that sharp auto tuning happening when he goes between notes, which like as someone who's worked with tuning vocals before, that's the type of sound you try to avoid. <laughs> I think he's trying to use it artistically, which like, OK, but like from my personal perspective, I it bugs the 
fuck out of me. <laughs> That's the shit you try to draw out with a like the pencil tool. <laughs> me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. That was a little bit awkward transition there. My life problem is I meet a girl tonight, then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, no. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through okay. Sunday, Monday. Okay, let's talk Monday about that through... really quick. I I don't know why he started quoting Eminem Superman there. Not that it's a bad line. It's a great line. It's just like, I don't know. That felt lazy to me. Maybe I don't understand the culture of it, but yeah, it just felt like lazy shoehorned in writing. All right, so based upon what I'm picking up from the lyrics, it's, and this is what I initially thought, but I wanted to double check. He basically is a, a conflicted man. You know, he he's done all this music that has influenced a lot of people. He's changed the game. He has arguably enriched people's lives with his art and, and helped them cope with whatever they need to cope with. And he has, you know, spread his wealth around and been very generous, which is all like, okay, I can give it a thumbs up. Even if I think the music sucks, I can give it a thumbs up. And that's contrasted against this um, more, I guess you could say darker personality where he kind of feeds into his impulses, like I'm assuming ladies clubbing booze, things like that. And treating a lady too nice, I don't think he's meaning like, oh, being a nice guy. I mean, like buying her a ton of shit because he wants company. He wants someone in his life. And deep down, he doesn't know who to trust because he's met too many gold digging whores. That's kind of the vibe that I, that I got from it is he doesn't know who in his life he can actually trust and rely upon and and knows is being honest and cares about him for him not for him as being the brand drake or as the famous person drake or as the millionaire drake i can appreciate that um this second beat for the chicago freestyle part i actually enjoyed i i really did especially the the chorus part i liked the subtlety of it it's not often i will say that about most modern radio rap, let alone Drake. If we're going by song suggestion Friday grading scales, it's a plus sign, not even close. As long as this song doesn't get overplayed, which uh, fat chance of that, I could see this coming on in the car and being like, oh, okay, that was cool. There really isn't a whole lot of harmonic information to dig into with uh, the actual beat itself. It's mostly rhythmic, which, I mean, I'll be honest, the rhythms themselves also basic as fuck. Even in the beats, there is a contrast between the brighter timbres that were in the first beat and the darker ones, the much darker ones that were in the second one. The way that the vocal was set up in the chorus, I think, was honestly extremely appropriate to the message. It does have a very somber, dark, um, I would say uh, borderline depressed type of tone to it. And I think that the beat behind it at that part, it's great. I got a lot of comments from Drake fans not really loving it that much. I got some people who were digging on it though. Yeah, it would be really easy for me to just shit down Drake's throat with how annoying he is. And I've considered making a video doing his entire catalog. I actually attempted diving into it. And one, there's just a lot to it. Two, in the rap and pop world, they are such whores for collaboration. It'd be next to impossible to track down every single collab he's ever done. And it's like, at the end of the day, would it be worth my time? Maybe, I don't know. I was getting through his first album and then his partway through his second album. And I was getting really <laughs> bored, man. I don't understand the appeal of Drake on a mass level. A song like this, I can see people being like, oh yeah, that's cool. A lot of his other stuff though, I'm just like, man, like when is it fucking <laughs> over? <laughs> the voice that he uses to sing is the most fucking annoying voice ever that's prop like purposefully out of pitch on certain things. And he's like, <laughs> like fuck you, dude. Sing like normal people sing, you bitch that whole style of singing like that has permeated into the rest of the hip-hop and rap world gotta hate it as far as a random drake track goes 
I think this one is solid personally. Uh, I, there's not a whole lot I would say is like like wrong with it, except for the fact that, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit like lifting himself up on a pedestal a little bit too much in certain parts. I think that that's more excusable with the contrast of the second half of the song, though. I mean, he doesn't detail a whole lot of faults in there, just like certain specific ones, maybe. If you said to me, it comes across as a rich dude whining about how rich he is and how awful his life is, I think that might be a bit of going too hard on him for it. Rich or poor, people are people and they have experiences that they need to share in order to be healthy mentally upstairs. I don't hate it, like I said, but... <sighs> I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, especially Drake fans. I'd be very interested to hear from Drake fans in the comments below what y'all thought of it. Anyway, that is it for me. If you like this video, if you like what I do in this channel, hit the like button, leave your comment below of your feedback on Drake, uh, subscribe. If you've already watched a couple of videos, you may as well just hit the subscribe button at this point. If you want me to keep making badass videos for you, please support me on Subscribestar. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Become the Night. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Rock on!